What's up everyone, Patrick here, welcome back. Moving on to the next question. We have to solve each of these two linear systems here by graphing. So starting with this one, we got y equals x minus two, and this one we got x plus two y equals eight. Now notice that this first line, it's already in y equals mx plus b format, but this one isn't. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna change this to be in that y equals mx plus b format. So we gotta isolate for the y. So I'll bring the x over, so that'll be negative x plus eight. Then we could divide everything by two to get that y by itself. Like that. So now it's y equals mx plus b, right? So this and this are the exact same thing. They're the exact same line. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna plot it. So let's, uh, let's do a rough graph over here. So we'll have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five. Let's see what happens. So starting with this line, notice the B value is four, which is the Y intercept. So that's gonna be over here. And then what does this slope mean? Negative one over two. Well, the rise is negative one, goes down by one, and then it runs two. So it's gonna go down by one to here, and then it's gonna run two. So that's gonna be, this point here would be um, two and three, right? This point here was zero and four. And then if we keep going, go down one, run two. So we'll have this point would be four and two. And then we can go down by one and then run to this, uh, this stop at five. So you know what? I'm gonna just stop the line. I'm gonna stop the points at, uh, at this point over here. And if we need more points from our graph later, we can just add them. All right, so I just plotted three points for now for this line. So this line over here is this. And then this line, y equals x minus two, minus two, the y-intercept would be here. And then what's happening is the slope is one, which is like one over one. So it's just gonna rise up by one, run one. Rise up by one, run one. Rise up by one, run one. Rise up by one, and then run one. So notice that it's intersecting at four and two, right? So it'll start at zero and negative two, and then this is uh, one and negative one. This is two and zero. This here is three and one. Right, notice that all the x values are increasing by one, then all the y values are increasing by one, right, because it's one over one. And then three and one, if you increase the x value goes to four, increase the y value goes to two, so this point is, um, it's not this, uh, this graph here isn't a scale, but it should be a straight line if you did it on graph paper. So four and two is the answer Sorry, that's the coordinate at which these two lines or these two lines here intersect. And then you could check your answer. You could verify it, right? So we could take, um, we could rewrite both of these. So if we write y equals x minus two, we could take um, two, plug it in for y, plug in four for x, and then notice left side equals right side. And then with the other line, we got x plus two, y equals eight. If we plug in x, four plus two times two, the y value of two. Notice we'll have four plus four, eight equals eight. Left side equals right side for that line as well. Right, so we could see it on the graph, we checked it, we could be pretty confident that that is the uh, correct answer. If you get time on the test and you can do a quick check, highly recommend you do so, just so you know for sure you got the right answer. Um, now, this set of lines here, notice they're not in y equals mx plus b format. So if we convert them, let's take this line first. Notice the y, to isolate for the y, it's easy. Just bring the 2x over. So we'll have y equals negative 2x plus 4. So that would be the first line. This line here, though, is going to be a little bit more complex to isolate for the y, but it's still not too bad. So um, what I'm going to do... So I'm gonna bring this negative three y over to make it positive, then I'll bring the 12 over. So I'll have two x minus 12 equals three y. Personally, I like to bring over the y to whatever side where it's gonna be positive, so I don't have to worry about the negatives, but you could keep the negative three y here, bring the two x over, 
but then when you divide by negative three, you gotta worry about changing signs. But then from here, you don't have to. So things are just a lot easier. So I'll have two over three X minus four equals Y. And then if we rewrite this, it doesn't matter what side of the equal sign we're on. All right, so we'll have Y equals two over three X minus four. That is the, um, that's this line in y equals mx plus b format. And then what we could do is uh, now that they're both in that format, we can graph both of them. So notice that we're going positive four, negative four. So we'll have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So let's start with this line, two over three X minus four. So that would be over here. And then what does the slope two over three mean? It means we rise to run three. So that would be at uh, this point would be at three and negative two, right? This is at zero and negative four like that. And then if we go from here, rise two, and then run three, we would need more one, two, three, four, five, six, so this would be at, um, give me a sec here, rise two, run three, yeah, so one, two, three, so this would be at six and zero, like that, right? So this line, if we connect the dots, looks like that. We have a couple of points. If we need more points, we could add them. Uh, and then this line, y equals negative two x plus four, this is gonna start at positive four, zero and positive four. And then negative two x, so it's like negative two over one. So we gotta rise negative two, we go down two, and then run one. So that would be at uh, this point here, would be at one and two. And then we go down two, run one. So this would be at two and zero. And then we go down to run one, it would be at that point right there. So that's the point where these two lines are going to intersect at three. That's the answer, three and negative two. And then if you want to do a check, we could take both lines. So this line we could take first since it's already written. So we'll have two times uh, three minus three times negative two equals 12. This would be six, negative, negative is positive. So notice 12 equals 12. First line checks out. Then the other line is uh, two X plus Y equals four. Uh, and I also recommend always using the original lines that you're given, just in case you perhaps made a mistake when you put into that Y equals MX plus B format. If you did make a mistake, then when you do the check up here, it's gonna show you that you made one. So always use the original lines. And then over here, two times three plus negative two. Notice we'll have six minus two. So we'll have four equals four. So both lines check out. We can see it on the graph as well. We could be pretty confident three negative two is the correct answer.